Claire. Yes. And I, I think, Kelly, uh, would it be counselling? Do you think it slump drives people to credit counselling? Uh, Taxpayer-funded counselling yeah, for Australian MPs yeah. and workers who lose jobs in recession to be offered free counselling. Uh, I've got to be honest with you, given the choice, mm. I'd prefer the hand job. But <laughs> Yeah. Particularly if I'm going to pay $120 an hour and lay down on a couch anyway. Well, <laughs> hey, Will, what, what would you do with the spare 58 minutes? <laughs> Weep like a child. <laughs> Shall we see if Will is right? <laughs> no. It is counselling. In these grim economic times, no one is feeling the pressure more than our marvellous politicians. So all 226 federal MPs now have access to psychological counselling, courtesy of us, the taxpayers. <laughs> the free counselling started the day before the budget stripped health and family benefits from everyone else. <laughs> According to psychologists, it helps people experiencing stress, anxiety, interpersonal conflict, depression, panic attacks and financial problems. So that's Wayne Swan covered. <laughs> Of course, Kevin Rudd doesn't need therapy. When he's feeling down, he gets Peter Garrett to dance for him and Swanee to stand nearby so he can use his nuts like a stress ball. Mum! <laughs> Mum! Over there now, 25 points over there, 25 points after the break. Drop your pants! Uh, time to venture back into the soundproof booth. Where's Carr? You and your pants? Took the long way around. Didn't want to walk next to me down the front. No. I want to see that long, luxurious hair blowing everywhere. Decorate. And what letter have you plucked out of the air? F. It's the letter F. Oh. All the answers you need start with that letter. <coughs> Are you ready? Yes, I am, I think. Oh, all right. Think it's I exciting, am. isn't it? Yep. I didn't... Are you still talking? Oh, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> I can feel the warmth of your palm oh, through the... The sexual energy all the time. I feel it as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of lucky he's wearing full body protection. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for the questions? Yep. Yep? I'm ready. Okay. Which American singer recently admitted to experimenting with women? Fergie, I think. Was yes! It? Right. Huh? Experimenting with women. That sounds a bit sort of Dr. Evil, doesn't it? It's perfect. What well comes done, after Fergie. me? Well done. Sorry? What comes after me? After you? Yeah, what comes after me? After me? Oh, me. Uh, far. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like I'm back at school, this is great. <laughs> How many years did you go to Knox? No comment. What do you like to do when you're alone? Fondle my head. Look, there's no secret here. Everybody does it. I know Paul does it. Um, can I ask you a question? Oh, here we go. I um, don't even have to be alone. <laughs> when you finish fondling, uh -huh. uh, does occasionally uh, Mark Holden just run in and go, touchdown? <laughs> yeah, but I prefer Dicko. So, I love Dicko's better. <laughs> A song, if I was a rich man, comes from which musical? Huh. Uh, that'd be Fondler on the Roof. Fondler on the Roof. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Party time! Shot glass. Can you do tap, can you tap dance? Yeah, you I can do a time else? step. Oh, I like it. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. this is... Hey, Bill. Hey, Ted. I think this thing's... What do you say to groupies? Finally! <laughs> Get out of the booth! Where's Carl, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, good.
Kelly Clarkson, we want to blow up your pants. <laughs> Don't be nervous, she'll be fine. Okay, wait. Okay. Go, Kelly. Your first time as well in a... In a bubble? Yeah. In a bubble? <laughs> yeah. In a bubble. Yeah. Oh, interesting well... bubbles you have on your planet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous. Shall we start it up? You ready? Yes. Okay. Okay. There you go. Scary in there, isn't it? Okay. One bitch on the head. Yes, stop it. The letter S. Yes. Uh, I think you know the drill, but all your answers I must... didn't know, like, any of his. I'm not going to know any of his. Any of his what? You I didn't know... know any of his, like, whenever he was doing his. <laughs> Can you hear me? What? Hello! <laughs> it's, a, it's a soundproof booth. <laughs> <laughs> any of his what? His answers? Ah, uh, never mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, she turns, doesn't she? <laughs> Lovely for the... Ah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've just, I've never had you in there before. I feel like keeping you in there for a bit I know. longer. I'm getting more nervous. Okay, we'll start. Okay. We'll start. I'm sorry. Okay. Who did Olivia Newton John play in Greece? Sandy D. Sandy D. I prefer Rizzo, but whatever. She was the better character. You yeah. can't hear me, can oh. you? Yeah, ah. I can't hear you. <laughs> I pretend I can hear you, but I, got, oh, like, but I can't hear a damn thing. <laughs> I'm so gonna punch you. <laughs> what was it like selling vacuum cleaners door to door? Shitty. <laughs> Did you ever break into song doing it? Did you ever? No. Hey, I... Hey, hey. <laughs> no, I suck. Oh. I'm really good at the S word. <laughs> <laughs> If only the vacuum cleaners had. <laughs> what makes your blood boil? Uh, shitty people. Wait, can I say shitty twice? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Say it three people. times, it makes it funnier. Shitty, shitty, shitty people. <laughs> One word to describe Simon Cowell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've used up your shitties. Yes. <laughs> He, he was always nice to me. He was sweet to me. Sweet! Yes. I bet what? you can't wait to have me back. Oh, no, <laughs> I don't want you to leave. <laughs> <laughs> what is most important to you? Um... Oh, it's, oh. it's hard beginning with S, isn't it? Because it means there's a lot of things with other letters that probably would be more important to you. I know, but this wait, one has to begin with S. S like so things... what's the most important thing beginning with S that is important? Soup. 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 <laughs> no, I don't know. Hey, what do you do for a living? Singing, sing, sing! In my defense, I was trying to think of something that... Oh! <laughs> I hate this thing. <laughs> it's limiting, isn't it? It's difficult. I know. <laughs> Which competitor in Britain's Got Talent is in oh, trouble no. for allegedly becoming a bit of a diva? Susan Boyle? That's it! Hey! I totally suck at that! Oh, you're that would be better. I'm sure Oh, it was wonderful. That was a highlight. Did you see Wes Carr? I couldn't in there? think of singing? <laughs> really? <laughs> Yes, I'm sure you all know this one. Britain's Got Talent star Susan Boyle has stunned fans with two four-letter word outbursts in one day. Ooh. Witnesses claimed she yelled, F off! But it was a very high F with amazing sustained clarity and vibrato. <laughs> ah, Susan Boyle. Or, as I prefer to call her, Amy Winehouse of the future. <laughs> anyway, Susan's fans are worried things could turn ugly. But I'm afraid it's too late for that. <laughs> no, that's wrong, isn't it? Boo! 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 And... <laughs> Them now on 45 points. Them on 45 points. Coming up, Hotspot. <laughs> Hotspot.
Before the show, we asked the studio audience to write down some questions about the news of the week. Our teams now have to deal with those questions. On the vicious circle, we call the hot spot. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Can I just point out, you've just applauded a round circle of <laughs> one X. What would you do if a bank accidentally gave you millions of dollars? Do I have to say it again? What would you do if a bank accidentally... Oh, big talk and about the spot, but now nothing. <laughs> Buy a better spot. <laughs> It'd be a great month for strippers. <laughs> Shots. I tell you what, if you two fellas got together, that could be a party. 